Right. Good morning, kids, and welcome back to a new session of Treasure Kids Online. I'm here. I'm Lynn, and I am with Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. So, hey. kids, today we'll talk about um, being content and joyful. So, let's get right into it. What does it mean to be content and joyful, Elizabeth? What does it mean? So to be content is to be, you know, satisfied, uh, to be, uh, you know, just to be good. And then to be joyful is um, to feel joy and to show joy. But we need to get more explanation um, yeah. in a few minutes. Is it right, Lynn? Yeah, we will. Absolutely. But you're so right that, yeah, being content is, yeah, just being satisfied and joyful. Well, yeah, it's usually being super happy. So, yeah, but let's find out more. So, Elizabeth, when have you been content? When has been a time when you were content or what makes you content? Mm. So, I think that what makes me um, feel content is to be um especially surrounded by my family, my parents, my siblings, um, my baby niece, and also just to be, you know, just together, uh, just enjoy a good meal, um, just to be playing games, or, you know, quality models. So that's actually when uh, I'm content. Um, can you tell me, uh, what about the time when you are joyful, when you, when you feel the joy and you show it? Yeah, I think when I wake up in the morning and it's a sunny day, and I'm in good sound health, and I've got exciting things coming up in my day, I'm joyful. But also, I think just when I wake up and I know that I'm loved by God, and I've got my family, and I've got my friends, these things make me joyful. That is good, yeah. yeah. So we've got a little video that's going to tell us a little bit more about you know being satisfied in the lord and being glad for what he gives us realizing that the lord provides and supplies our every need right elizabeth absolutely yes so let's get right into it let's start the video the lord will provide Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about contentment. Yeah, contentment is basically just being happy with what you have. And I always hear people saying this expression, I always hear them say, the Lord will provide. And I really love that expression because, well, God does take care of his people. He will provide. There's all kinds of times in the Bible where it says that God will provide. And you know what? I need the Lord to provide because I need a new backpack. Yeah, so school is starting, and I've got this old, old backpack from like three years ago, and I, I, it's old, and it's kind of, the edges are kind of frayed a little bit. It looks really ugly, and, and I wrote Douglas on it in, in Sharpie, but I didn't know how to spell very well back then, so the S is backwards, and it's just this ugly, ugly thing. So I need a new backpack, because everybody's getting new backpacks for back to school, but I've got this old, old backpack, and so it's really comforting to know God will provide. So I think God will give me a new backpack, and I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about this. And I got kind of this, have you ever felt like that? Like like you were thinking something and you thought to yourself, well, that's not right. Yeah, well, that's how I felt. I, I, I did not feel like that was the right way to feel. And so I was thinking about that expression, the Lord will provide. And it's a good expression because he does and he will. But with my backpack, the thing that I needed to remember is not that the Lord will provide, but that the Lord does provide. You see, I was sitting here complaining about this backpack that it's ugly and, and it's got my name spelled wrong on it. But you know what? I have a backpack. I do. It might be kind of ugly, but it carries my books. And yes, someday I may get a new backpack. God may provide me a new backpack, maybe even this year. But instead of being upset about what I have, I should be grateful for what I have. I should be content with what I have. God will provide for my needs. If God takes care of little birds, he's going to take care of me. Because God loves you and me way more than he loves little birds, and he loves them a lot. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would be content with what God has given you. It's okay to ask for more things, but it's not okay to be ungrateful for what God has given us. 
God has an awesome plan for you. And it's not a plan that starts sometime way in the future. God's plan for you started even before you were born. And it's a good plan. God loves you very much and he wants to take care of you. So let's all try to be content with what God has given us. And remember that the Lord provides. Right. So Elizabeth, what did you think of the video? It was really interesting and really encouraging as well to know that we don't yeah. need to worry. We yeah. have to really be you know, satisfied with you know, with God and knowing that he's uh, at the center of everything and that he provides. Yeah. He? Absolutely. So now we'll go on to looking at our memory verses, okay? And that's going to really summarize what we were talking about. It's from the Bible, right? So here it is. Wow. So do you want us to read it, Elizabeth? Yes, of course. So it reads like this. I know how to leave when I am poor. You can go next to yours. Right, and I know how to live when I have plenty. Good. I have learned the secret of being happy at any time in everything that happens. I have learned to be happy when I have enough to eat and when I do not have enough to eat. Mm -hmm. I have learned to be happy when I have all that I need and when I do not have the things I need. I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. That's a great set of verses. And we've got a little song, right, Elizabeth? That's going to help us to memorize it. Okay, so we've got another video that we're going to run to help us memorize our verses. So you can learn the song, and when you've learned the song, you've learned the verses. Okay, so here it is, guys. Let's have a listen. I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any, in every situation. Whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. know what it is to be in need and i know what it is to have plenty i have learned the secret of being content in any in every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in what I can do all this through him who gives me strength. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. <laughs> This was a great video. What an amazing song. Right? It was a, uh, it's a it's great a song. song. Yeah. And then when you learn the song, you'll know your verses. <laughs> so that takes us now on to reading other Bible passages that tell us about being content and being joyful. So Elizabeth is going to read this, but yeah, let's make sure we got our Bible. Bye. Okay, so children, if you need to pause the video now, do so right away, please. And just go grab your Bible, ask your mom, ask your dad, your brother, or your sister, or anyone, and get your Bible. So we are going to read from Matthew chapter 6, and from verse 24 to 34. 
So when you have found the verses, the verse, sorry, just say amen. Have you found it yet, Lynn? I have. Amen. <laughs> so let us read. So today I am going to be reading from the International Children's Bible. Okay, so I'm just going to be reading from that version. Let us start. So Matthew chapter 6, from verse 24 to 34. No one can be a slave to two masters. He will hate one master and love the other. Or he will follow one master and refuse to follow the other. So you cannot serve God and money at the same time. So I tell you, don't worry about the food you need to leave. And don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food. And the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. But yet, your heavenly father feeds the birds. And you know that you are worth much more than the birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon, with his riches, was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God closes the grass in the field like that. The grass is living today, but tomorrow it is thrown into the fire to be burned. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? All the people who don't know God keep trying to get these things. And your father in heaven knows that you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. Amen, amen. Amen, wow. That's quite a passage. It tells it us everything, right? About Absolutely, not Dad. worrying, yeah. And being content yeah. with every day. So, this takes us to the final bit of our little lesson, which is prayer. We're going to pray about the things we've learned today. We're going to pray and ask God that he would help us to be content with what he gives us, to be content with him, to be satisfied in him, and to be joyful always, no matter what's going on. Okay? So who's going to pray, Elizabeth or I? Okay, Elizabeth wants to pray. Let, let, us, let us hear Elizabeth. <laughs> so I'm going to start praying and then you could uh, uh, close in prayer again. But remember, prayer is simply speaking to God. Just a few words are more than enough. What matters most is the heart. And do remember all the passages that Lee and I have read. And grab your Bible and just read it again with your sibling, with your dad, with your mom, anyone else. So let us pray now. Father God, thank you so much for this amazing day that you have given us, Father God. And like Lynn had said earlier, Father God, we just want to keep on rejoicing when we wake up in the morning, when we have a lovely day, or even when the day is like rain and it's raining or cold maybe. We just want to thank you because you are God. And no matter the season, no matter the weather, no matter if, if we have got everything that we need or we don't, Father God, you are there and you are the same. So thank you so much for all the things. And please, Father God, help us to understand what it means to, to be content with you, what it means to be um, joyful, Lord, because this is something that we just want to better understand. Lord, I just want to be satisfied with everything I have got today. And I also want to show this by being joyful, by being happy, by being glad, by being um, uh, of a pleasant uh, company, Father God. So thank you so much for every single thing and we praise you and we give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. And now we're really at the end of the lesson. Again, as Elizabeth said, make sure you go back and you read again and again. So we're now we're going to we're going to close in prayer. Okay, so let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this amazing lesson. Thank you for what your Bible tells us, Lord God, for what your word tells us. Thank you for what Jesus said, and thank you for what we can read in the epistles. Thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful day you're giving us. And Lord, we want to praise you. We want to be satisfied in you, and we want to always rejoice in you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Lee. And have thank a lovely day. God bless you. Yes, God Goodbye. bless you. Goodbye. Okay, hi, Jersey Kids. It's Nick. Uh, I'm just introducing today's follow up activity. So, today's follow up activity is to make a kite. And this will actually be able to fly. So, we made out of tissue paper and straws. So, here on the screen, there'll be a picture of what you can create today. So, if you look on the YouTube video description, you will also find out the necessary equipment you will need and the instructions needed to make a kite. So when we fly a kite, it is our job to keep it up and holding on to the strings, we keep it safe. Like this, God keeps us joyful and he keeps us up and able to be continuously joyful and content. We have joy because we know we will one day be in heaven with him forever and that he's with us every step of our days. We hope you enjoyed today's week. If you have done any previous activities or crafts, you can send it in to us uh, to kingstreasurekids at gmail.com. would be great to uh, share some of the images of your follow-up activity crafts uh, in some other videos. God bless you, have a great day, and hope to see you soon.